Hello, I'm John Myers, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of education on travel. For starters, education on travel provides an opportunity to gain a different perspective, one that is different from that that you may have taken from your home or from the people around you. Another point is that ed education during travel it offers the gaining of first-hand knowledge. Now, first-hand knowledge is very important because it is not knowledge that you have derived from a source or a different person, but that you have taken up yourself. Another point is that education during travel can build up individual opinion. Not something that somebody has told you how to think or feel about, but something that you have taken yourself. Finally, during travel, one can be exposed to and experience historical events. Historical events, understanding them and going, maybe visiting them, are important because it helps us to build up these three points and also to obviously never repeat them again or for the negative ones and to understand how it has shaped our world. The destination that I've selected is the Holocaust in Europe. And the reason I've selected this is because it, it provides the opportunity to understand a huge event one that hasn't happened too long ago, just in the 19, around the 1940s, and it also shaped our world partially into what it is today. Now, if you didn't know, the Holocaust was the, one of the main events of it, was the pr prosecution and killing of about six million Jewish people. The reason that it is so important this trip specifically is because on it you can recall victims, you can also understand the events that altered and shaped history, and the trip specifically highlights the importance of preventing this from happening again and from moving forward for the victims and helping the families that were affected from this. Also, you can learn about the cities and historical sites outside of the Holocaust in Europe. And you can also, well, some of these sites are in Germany, Austria, and Czechoslovakia. This map shows the Jewish population in uh, 1933. And as you can see, in the dark green uh, colors, this is where the most Jewish people were uh, residing. And this shows the, how the prosecution of the Jewish people happened. Now, other topics such as distance during travel should not be as significant as education because on a vacation based around distance, the destination may look exotic, you know, it's very far away, but that's not always the case. These destinations may be unsafe, too expensive, or uh, simply bland. Just because it's so far away, it doesn't mean that it's terribly different. Now, another reason that distance during travel isn't a great basis for a vacation is because it may not have any other qualities like education or culture. It may just be that it's very far away. Another uh, subject to bring up about this vacation is the culture. Now, culture is somewhat similar to education, but it lacks other qualities that are found in education. Now, like distance, it may seem may seem very interesting, and it may be, but it could also bring issues such as being in a hazardous situation. Prosecution based on religion or nationality is present in some uh, countries. Now, there are also, in some cases, r unwritten rules that people have not known and when they visited these countries they have unfortunately found the consequences themselves so safety could be an issue in uh, cultures of countries that are very diverse many people may may not favor this uh, basis of a vacation because maybe they don't necessarily feel comfortable in these different cultures as I said before, prosecution it, uh, becomes an issue sometimes due to things that may seem normal, like culture for yourself, religion, even sometimes skin color. 
Next is expense during travel, and while money is very important, finding the cheapest vacation may hinder the experience itself. itself. Now, saving money, which sounds good to most, it uh, may lead to dangerous situations, and also corruption is a case. So maybe in a very cheap um, vacation, uh, you may you may find that dangerous situations and uh, unfair things happen, such as being scammed, robbed, or other negative things during vacation. And these can really disturb the well-being of the vacation and the people themselves. Restricted spending could also limit the activities. While this is not always the case, going to a destination and not being able to do the things because of the lack of money often because becomes an issue. Now, vacations, for most, are supposed to be fun and rel relaxing, and being limited by money and your expense and your uh, budget on a vacation can sometimes ruin this, or at least make it less enjoyable. Oops. Safety during travel is a, it, it is a big basis to base a vacation off of. You don't want to go to a, a sketchy destination where you could be uh, hurt or put yourself in danger, but it is, Im it is important, but it should not be the main basis of a vacation. Taking no risks is detrimental as, as humans, we learn from mistakes and risks. A risk versus reward, if you haven't heard of that before, is a, a me mechanism by which our minds function sometimes. And while going for the reward all the time is not usually the right choice, not taking any risks can really hurt us in the long run. If we don't try something new, then we'll be limited to doing nothing. So vacations should be enjoyable, as I've mentioned before, and being too safe can uh, limit how enjoyable the vacation could be. Taking away first-hand learning, as I mentioned in the second slide, and experiencing things and gaining that different perspective, which is ever important, can be limited by being over safe during travel. And these are my sources that I gathered to make this slideshow. Thank you.